Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day on keto with a migraine. Yes, I have the fun of having a heart monitor at the same time as Shark Week and a migraine and Shark Week decided to come five days early. Um, my partner's taken the kids out for the day for me so that I'm able to kind of have a rest, have some quiet, um, so hopefully pretty much all the noise is going to be me talking to you. Um, I'm going to hop in the shower because I am disgusting at the moment, or I feel disgusting, <laughs> and then I will get back to you with breakfast, which is probably going to be decaf coffee, but I'm going to kind of talk you through what I'm eating and why I'm eating it, if there is a reason. So for example, um, I'm not going to be eating much dairy today because dairy makes my migraines worse and I am going to be adding in some pickles or for us it's pickled cucumbers. I don't know if it's gherkins or courgettes or whatever, I don't know the difference between half of them. But for you it'll be pickles, for me it's pickled cucumbers um, just because apparently they are supposed to help with migraines. Um, I might do a little bit of like come with me, do stuff with me. There isn't much that I'm gonna do because I have a migraine, but I might do some yoga and things like that to try and get my blood flowing and hopefully cooling it down a little bit and that should help, I'm hoping. Um, I am gonna be dosed up on meds, so if I forget to throw some stuff in here, that'll be why, but I'm gonna hop in the shower and I will see you at breakfast. I am sorry that I'm gonna look a state today. I can see the bags under my eyes because I'm not sleeping because I am in too much pain. But I will see you again soon, guys. Right, so I have had my shower. I'm definitely feeling a little bit better. I'm sorry the video is going to be a little bit dark. Earlier I turned the light on specifically to be able to talk to you because you couldn't see me in the hallway. But I am going to keep it as dark as I can because it's a lot more comfortable for me. <laughs> I do apologise for that, but I am just going to make my coffee now and I will show you what is in it. So in this coffee today, I'm literally just going to have some decaf coffee, two scoops of my collagen and probably two to three pumps of the salted caramel mocha. It's the only one I've got left of my skinny syrup, but I always put skinny syrup in my coffee. I might end up adding a little bit of semi-skimmed milk only a tiny little bit I'm trying to avoid dairy because it does make it worse which is why I'm not doing butter in my coffee um, because there is dairy in butter it may not be a lot but I would rather have literally a drop of this just to take the edge off like the bitterness off the coffee but I'm going to try it without any at the moment and then if I need to, I will add a splash. So that's my coffee all made up. I have actually made it without the milk because I didn't realise how super creamy the collagen makes it. I mean, it's dark, obviously, um, but I've made it in my best friend's special mug. This is her mug, but I miss her so much at the moment with COVID. So I wanted to use her mug and feel a bit closer. So if you can see me, hi, you know who you are. I love you. <laughs> But yeah, so there is my coffee. I am going to go and watch um, Fat Fiction, I think it's called, on Amazon. And I'm just going to drink this and chill out and take my meds. I am going to be taking my naproxen today because I am in so much pain all over my body with being on and with my migraine on top of everything. So I'm just going to take my naproxen, my Mepsol, my mental health meds and just go from there. Okay, so I've taken my Meprazole. It's now around about 9.45 in the morning, I think. I'm just waiting for my Meprazole to kick in before I take the rest of my medications because my Meprazole needs to line my stomach before I can take anything else and I also need to eat with naproxen. Um, it's quite a, <laughs> quite a fun balance to try and keep. But... There you go. I'm watching um, Fat Fiction, as I say, and it's really interesting, actually. I've had it on my list for a couple of weeks to watch it, and I just never got around to it. And now that I've got an empty house and I need quiet, I figured I can keep it on quiet and just watch it and chill out with my blankie <laughs> and just try and relax a little bit. So... I'll have a think about what I'm going to eat. We don't have a lot in the house, but I have got some steaks that I made up yesterday ready to eat for today so I didn't need to cook. Um, yeah, we'll just see how we go. 
I've just weighed out about 20 grams of almonds. These are salted roasted almonds. Um, I'm still not hungry. I really don't want to eat anything, but I need to eat something to take my medication. And it is about 5 to 11 now. I've been putting it off and putting it off. I was supposed to take my meds at 8 this morning. and I just didn't get the time. And obviously, um, I just haven't wanted to eat anything. So I've weighed out 20 grams of almonds just to get me through. Hopefully, it'll kickstart my appetite so that I actually have some lunch today. <laughs> I'll take my meds and I'm going to finish watching Fat Fiction, which I still have about 20 minutes left. completely forgot to say that I do always have this jug of water nearby. Um, I try to drink two, two of these jugs a day, but I'm actually quite late starting because normally I start this at 6 when my kids wake up. And it's now gone 11. But I'm just about to start actually eating my almonds. I've taken my tablet, so I need to eat my almonds now and obviously start my water and try and power through that. And for my lunch today, it has just gone midday, I think. Um, I'm probably going to eat this quite slowly, but I'm having just 120 grams of salmon, 30 grams of pickled cucumbers and 80 grams of actual cucumbers. Now the salmon is because it's very rare that I can actually eat salmon. My partner cannot stand the smell of fish so it's very rare that I eat it and I really need some omega-3s in my body right now. So I'm having some salmon obviously today. The pickles, these ones aren't the best pickles because they have got sugar in the syrup. Um, obviously I'm not drinking the actual juices which it is recommended to have pickle juice to help with migraine. But I'm just going to eat some pickles because, you know, I don't really want that much sugar in my body. So I've got 30 grams of pickles and I have 80 grams of cucumber. Now the reason I try to have cucumber every single day is because it actually makes me feel far more hydrated. So if I'm really dehydrated and I drink a glass of water, I don't feel hydrated. I don't know why, but I still feel really dry and I could drink that entire jug of water that I showed you earlier and still feel incredibly thirsty. I'm not diabetic, I have been tested repeatedly. It's not that. Now if I add some cucumber to the water or if I eat cucumber, I do start to feel hydrated. I don't know what it is. If anyone has any idea, let me know in those comments down below because I've always been curious about it, but it's something about my body. Um, I'm also having another coffee with this, obviously not with collagen, but another decaf coffee with three pumps of my skinny syrup. And I did add 10 grams of semi-skimmed milk to that. So it's a tiny little splash just because I don't have the collagen. But yeah, so that's my lunch today. Okay, so it's about 2.45 in the afternoon and my stick, my like Amazon stick thing, has decided to die. So I thought I'd update you. I was going to do some yoga, and then my body cried, so <laughs> I couldn't actually start it. And then when I did manage to go on the floor to start it, my stick died, so I don't have the video, which is great. So I did beforehand manage to watch a couple of horror movies, because my partner is terrified of horror movies and thrillers and stuff like they're really gross he's really cringy he like cringes at everything and he gets grossed out easily um like he faints at a prick of needle sort of thing <laughs> so um my kids are obviously too young really for horror movies they're three and below so maybe not but i have always been a massive horror movie thriller fan so if you have any to recommend let me know in the comments down below the sort of things i like are like um, any, to be honest. I mean, I'm not massively into slasher movies, but I am, like, a massive obsessor over the Alien franchise. You may see at some point in the future I will be starting to wear my Alien tops again. Um, massive fan of Scorny Weaver. She's one of my favourite actresses of all time. I love her. Um, and obviously Alien's what got me into her. <laughs> and I've seen everything she's been in, pretty much, that I can find anyway, and interviews. Um... But yeah, I just thought I'd update you and let you know that those horror movies, uh, it crashed halfway through the second one. So the first one I watched was Escape Room. Um, it's kind of like a version of Saw in a way. It's not Saw, obviously, but I can't remember which Saw it was. But you remember the one where they like had to go around the house and figure out the things and you had like the pit of needles and... Stuff like that. I remember the pet needles because they freaked me out. But <laughs> um, where they were told like to get the antidote and stuff. It's a similar idea where they have to try and figure their way out. And obviously people are dying. 
Um, it's an escape room, I mean. <laughs> but it's quite twisty. It's quite good. I liked it, personally. But it has been a long time since I watched a horror movie, so my standards are probably pretty low right now. <laughs> um, the second one I was trying to watch was Nine Deaths, I think it's called. Nine Death, Nine Dead, something like that. Um, which is basically where they're another Saw version, like the first one, in a way. But um, they're all... You've got ten people all stood in a room, like, chained up, and they've got to figure out why they're all there. And every ten minutes, a guy comes in and shoots one of them until they figure out um, why they're all there. Like, they all have a connection. They've got to figure it out. Now, I haven't finished that movie, so I have no idea. I only got to the second deaths, and the whole thing crashed. So, fantastic. But it has got... Um, What's her name? Melissa, Melissa Joan Hart? Is that her name? Something like that? Melissa? I know it's Melissa. Um, absolutely love her as well. <laughs> like, forever. I've always loved her. Um, since I was a kid, really. Or a teenager, maybe. I can't even remember how old I was when Sabrina was out. But, yeah. I mean, you know. So, because of all that, I am probably going to go and chill out in bed for a little bit maybe watch some stuff on my tablet because I seriously don't have the energy to do much. I have had a quick pick up in here, like picked some bits up off the floor, kids toys and stuff and I did a couple of dishes but not a lot because we don't have a curtain in there so it's really bright in the kitchen to me. I mean it's not facing the sun but it's really bright so I'm not doing a lot. I think I'm going to go and chill out in bed and try and keep recovering. I do feel a little bit better after what I ate earlier, which is quite nice. Not a lot better, but I'm able to kind of talk more, no or I feel like I can talk more normally. I don't know if it sounds any different, but um, without wanting to scream every time I make a sound or every time I blink. Uh, so yeah, that's me at the moment. I will get back to you when I have a snack or have a meal or something food related probably. Or if anything else how interesting happens, which probably won't because nothing interesting happens when you're sat at home alone doing nothing because you've got a migraine. Aces. <laughs> but I'll see you again soon guys. It has just turned five o'clock and I've decided to try and have my dinner now because I am actually feeling quite hungry and I try not to eat past sort of six o'clock so this is basically like a keto version of stew now i said earlier that i had some leftover steak that i cooked up yesterday i've thrown in some leftover broccoli and mushrooms as well which is around about 200 grams of each i think um and i've basically just put that in a pan with some water and some beef juices with an oxo cube some chili flakes some onion granules and some pepper mix that all up heated it through and let it kind of sit for probably about an hour just to do its thing and marry the flavors together i absolutely love this meal it's so quick and easy to make and i can just chuck it in a pan and forget about it i have also portioned out 50 grams of almonds because i know i'm going to want to munch on something up till six o'clock and six o'clock's my cut off and then i will just have water but yeah so i'm gonna have this now and that's pretty much it for me for the day. So that is me for the day today. Um, I did turn the light on to do the last bit, um, but it is still hurting my eyes. I am really, really hoping that this passes soon. Um, I've got my next one of Naproxen soon, um, which I'll take with my dinner, and then I'll go to bed and try and sleep off the last of it, and hopefully I'll be fine tomorrow. But let me know in the comments down below what you thought, um, if you have any suggestions. I have got a keto cookbook on its way from Amazon. Um, so I'm going to have a look through that and see if I can find some recipes because, to be honest, I kind of get bored. Um, I tend to eat really bland, boring food anyway, but whenever I've tried any of the like more complex dishes like cheeseburg casserole and stuff... I never seem to lose weight when I do them and I don't know why so I'm hoping having this book is going to be super simple like decent keto recipes um, which won't be as bad on fats but I don't know it should have a few recipes in there that focus on the protein so I'm hoping I can do that because I'm trying because I've got so much fat on my body obviously <laughs> um, I can burn the fat from there better more effectively um, than taking in so much fat to fill in my calories now i'm not saying don't eat your fat i'm really not 
Um, but personally, I use fat for satiation, which is what it's supposed to be for. So basically, you eat your fats to make you feel full. If you feel full and you're not hungry, that's fine. Just you don't need to meet your fat as long as you meet your protein. That's how I try and live on things. So I'm going to kind of tilt you this way. So here is my carb manager picture for the day. Um, you can just see how that all goes and take a shot or whatever. But that's how I vlogged it in. <laughs> um, some of it is guesswork, so I am sorry. But yeah, so that's my day's worth of eating. I haven't met my calories, I don't think, today. Um, but I'm not too bothered by that because I tend not to eat as much when I'm um, ill anyway. So hey ho. Um, if I need to, I'll just have like another coffee or something later on. But I'm pretty good for now. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear those masks where you can, and I'll see you soon. Good luck in your journey. Love you all. Bye, guys.